Leicester City are into the semifinals of the FA Cup for the first time in almost 40 years. Janusz Michalak is here with me for this one. Janusz, this one came at the expense of Manchester United. A 3-1 win. I love the little smirk you have right there because you know it's been gutting me. But what really gutted me, Janusz, let's be honest, was Manchester United's performance. I mean, where did they get it so wrong? Where did Ole get it so wrong? Yeah, because I don't want to start right away. It's like, you know, up and down. Everybody's been up and down. But for Manchester United, you know, there's that hope, of course. Every so often you think that Manchester United are back. And, uh, you know, I've kind of always been saying, but back from where and to what? And this is a great example. And, you know, I almost, you know, before we start talking about Manchester United, I don't think we want to do, you know, disservice to Leicester City. Because the truth of the matter is that they lost to a very, very good team, a team that was better, right? I mean, it's, this is Leicester City that are, just what, a point behind Manchester United in the Premier League. Um, and, and, you know, with a manager in Brendan Rodgers, that's not only uh, more experienced, but a better manager, clearly, clearly, right? So, you know, for those of us, because I really don't want to go on this Ole thing, how good he truly is, because we don't know. I've never been super impressed with him because I don't see how he manages this team. I don't see players necessarily getting better. And I don't see the management within the game, right? Because you'll say to yourself, even when he made the substitutions, four at a time. Now, you just don't do it because you unsettle the game even more. Just imagine four players all of a sudden coming in into this game, right? And they have to pick up their pace to get with the pace of the game, right? And and you're hoping what? The players around, you know, take takes you a while to figure things out. And and, you know, and why, for example, not go with the best lineup here? What's he saving those players for? International break? Now, you know, it's easy. Somebody can tell me, well, Bruno Fernandes needs a break. I get that. He's loop tired. But, you know, he's still Bruno Fernandes. I'll take him at, you know, 75%, really, in comparison to what you have. I mean, it's never good when Matic and Fred start together, right? I mean, you can go back to every game that they do, and it doesn't work, right? You saw on Yuri Tillemans. You know, Matic jogging, uh, Fred is watching, and Yuri is scoring goals, right? Uh, uh, but, you know, you can say that about Fred, hasn't played well as of late. 50 mm-hmm. 50 responsibility on the very first one because Maguire wasn't much better in terms of giving him uh, that, you know, hospital ball uh, there. <laughs> so both have to take responsibility uh, for that. And in the end, it, what an opportunity loss because. How long has he been there, Ole? You're a big fan. Three. This is the third season right now. And, and what? I mean, unless they win Europa League, this is how how different is this season from the ones that we've seen before? No different. No trophies. I don't see this team necessarily all that much better. Mm-hmm. And yeah, if they play their 12, 13 players, okay, they can beat a lot of good teams. But all in all, in general just a bad performance. I mean, that's th- this is the trophy they need to go after, at least to show some progress and get something in the trophy cabinet. And with that said, we definitely, of course, have to talk about Leicester because they were just absolutely brilliant. Flair play that Man United did make it easy for them. But I mean, even not seeing Jamie Vardy be the main man, but let's talk about Kalichi Iheanacho because he's just been on fire as well. And how much of a threat are Leicester looking like for the rest of the teams now in this current FA Cup? Yeah, look, I mean, for Leicester City, as I've mentioned, great manager. I mean, the fact that Iheanacho has been scoring, well, like seven goals in the last four matches, obviously. Here's a player that's t- taken advantage of an opportunity because, you know, I'm not comparing them, but, you know, with Harvey Barnes being out, who had a yeah. s- tremendous season, James Madison, another player, before we say Manchester United rested players because of the, the Europa League game, you know, Iheanacho comes in and takes his opportunity. That's up to him. That's also up to Brendan Rodgers to trust him and, and, you know, play him. And I think we know how good he is. Now you look at players like Yuri Tillemans, absolutely tremendous. Uh, Ayosa Perez, after missing a number of games, uh, comes in and over the course of the last few games has been good. Jamie Vardy has not been as prolific as he has been in the past, eight or nine games without scoring a goal. I think Liverpool was the last one, if memory serves right. Uh, But he's still contributing in this game, you know, against Sheffield United, uh, you know, that was a 5-0 win in the Premier League, didn't score, and you think, you know, when the score is like that, that Jamie Vardy is going to score, but has chances, contributed, I think, a couple assists in that game, so look, you know, other players step in, and, and in comparison defensively, look how good they've been, you know, Johnny Evans, 
I, you know, I think he walks into Manchester United. He's been there before. Fofana, <laughs> young player, walks into that at center back, right? Uh, even Soyuncu, who knows, right? So you look at some of these players that are young and Brent, Brendan Rodgers is developing, you know, I see a clearer path, a better game plan, game in and out, not just in this game, from Leicester City and Brendan Rodgers than I see from Manchester United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It's more up and down, you know, a lot of guessing again today, just, you know, let's go out there type of thing. Yeah, we're tired. We had a big win against Milan, fair play. But, you know, those four substitutions for me, that's not something that you really, really do all at the same time. And by the way, Anthony Marshall, till this moment, I can't believe he's still on, he was on the pitch for 90 minutes. And somebody like Daniel James, who I thought has been pretty good as of late, doesn't step on the pitch. So again, you know, maybe I'll, I'll be saying something different when next game United wins it, but this next game will be in the Premier League. And, and this is a massive opportunity lost for a trophy. And, you know, the news had to trickle down that they would be playing Southampton no disrespect, but, you know, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea and Man City on one side, and here you have a chance to play uh, uh, Southampton in, in the semifinal of the FA Cup. Uh, wow. Just a massive loss for United. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.